when Shao Kahn overtakes the Earth, he needs Shang Tsung to help locate the surviving humans. Granted new powers, Shang Tsung soon discovers his Dark Emperor's true plan. As soon as the remaining warriors are disposed of, Shao Kahn will take Shang Tsung's own soul after learning this. A powerful, deadly sorcerer and a primary villain in the Mortal Kombat franchise, Shang Tsung is a shapeshifter who needs to consume souls in order to sustain his health and life. In the Mortal Kombat series, he is the epitome of cunning and decadence, as symbolized by his preference for lavish parties, grand palaces, and stylish clothing. Unlike the crude Shao Kahn, this bombast is a facade, disguising Shang Tsung's true intellectual and mental sophistication. His arch nemesis is Liu Kang, but throughout his unnatural lifespan, he has earned the hatred of many others, including Kung Lao and Kenshi. Shang Tsung's allegiance to Shao Kahn, granted him the status of a free-roaming sorcerer. As such, he is able to move between realms without detection by the elder gods or local deities, an ability which has granted him many opportunities to commit atrocities over the centuries. Only Delia, Shinnok, Shao Kahn, and Quan Kai can match Shang Tsung's skills as a sorcerer. Shang Tsung initially had the appearance of a decrepit old man. His skin was pale with long balding white hair, a beard and mustache, with dangling thin fingers and long fingernails. He wore robes with shades of blue and yellow, and had a sword holstered at his side at all times. Since MK11, he regains his youth, though with varying degrees. His skin returns to a natural tint and is depicted with long black hair. As with his older persona, he shares featureless white eyes. In both MK11 and MK3, he wore yellow and black clothes. In Deadly Alliance and Beyond, he wears a heavy red uniform. Interestingly, he is depicted with pupils, having brown eyes. In MK2011 during the first tournament, Shang Tsung wore a black kimono shirt with a golden accent, black pants, and black boots, with a golden X decoration at the top. Above his kimono shirt, he wore a crimson vest-like robe, with a large golden trim at the edge of the robe and at the cuffs, black and gold decorations on the front of the robe. The robe has a long, single strip which falls down to around his boots, too. Thin strips of black fabric protruding from the top of the pants, and a belt, with the middle colored black, the rest gold and a jade stone in the middle. In MK11, he once again appears in his older and younger forms, the former being a slight redesign of his MK2011 outfit, with his younger form being a hybrid of his MK3 and MK2011 appearances, sharing the similar design traits of the latter with the color palette of the former. Kari Hiroyuki Tagawa provides his likeliness for the character, his younger form in particular being based directly off of his physical appearance in the 1995 live-action movie, sporting a near-identical hairstyle and a complete lack of facial hair. One of his alternate costumes also grants him his look from the aforementioned movies. Interestingly, his old form has visible pupils rather than being pure white. Originally named Shang Lao during the production of the first Mortal Kombat game, Shang Tsung was envisioned as a shapeshifting antagonist. And based on a Chinese sorcerer archetype from martial arts films, including but not limited to the character Lo Pan from the 1986 film Big Trouble in Little China. The original idea was that Shang Tsung was a human traitor who had sold his soul. Mortal Kombat art director Herman Sanchez said that as the series progressed, he decided to emphasize Tsung's air of sinister regality. 